Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe It's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe It's baby with you Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beats from Beauty and the Beats is and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. Last Sunday I put up a get all done video so be sure to check that out. Lots of cooking, cleaning, motivation, I forget what else I did in there, a whole bunch of stuff. But now today I am showing you our front porch, uh, I was going to say clean and decorate but I only clean the window so it's more of a decorate. The look I was going for is just classic, hallmarky, um, hallmarky, walmarty. <laughs> everything on the porch basically is from walmart and i will be sure to link all of that down below but let's get into this video i hope that you all enjoy it and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for this sunday's video okay so here is the before of the porch and be sure to stay tuned until the end because we're going to do an overview when it's dark out as well and just show you all the lights and everything how that looks but the very first thing i'm doing is just cleaning off this door i'm going to be hanging up some garland here all the garland in today's video is from walmart it was really affordable and it was 25 feet long and pre-lit they also had smaller ones for not that much cheaper so i thought this was the best deal So I am just hanging up the garland with some command hooks and praying that they stay. I did secure everything really well because it does get pretty windy here, um, so I tried to double down on everything. So the method that I came up with for not only the door but hanging all of the garland was I found the center of it and then went from there. So I basically split the garland in half and found the center and that's how I decided to go about measuring came out great so definitely recommend it and then the ones that I wind up hanging on the outside of the house I was able to leave them folded in half and I just twisted them to make them look a little bit thicker and it worked out perfectly this wreath I've had for a long time but the wreath holder I just got yesterday from Walmart um, and then I also got this mat a while ago I don't remember when I got it but it's definitely not new um, and then the one over top of it is new and that is from um, World Market and then I'm putting out a new little sign that is from last year as well and then this little tree that I'm putting out here is pre-lit um, and we got this from at home last year So this is new this year from Walmart. Ella and I grabbed it today and I thought it would be perfect to put drinks and snacks in for our delivery drivers and it was really cute and only $19. Okay, moving on to the garland outside of the house, um, it wound up working out great because I already had little hooks up there for my hanging plants, so that's what I used to hang this as well, um, but I'm sure you could use command hooks too. So there's been a lot of times decorating my house this year that I wondered if I was going to survive the decorating, <laughs> like stepping on random things and different ladders and just praying that I don't fall. So I'd like to give a shout out to God for protecting me during these decorating times. So I was kind of mad that I only got four ribbons. I thought maybe I should have gotten six so that I could put one in the middle of the garland. What do you think? 
um, or even to have some for the doorway but this is what I have so far they were the only ones left and they were under three dollars from Walmart So what's kind of funny is that my mother-in-law's house is decorated very similarly to this um, and she inspired me too because I just love that classic style. So she got these uh, Christmas balls, she was telling me about them on the phone, or these bells and I was like that sounds so cute and I was so excited when I found them at Walmart because I know they're hard to find online and they don't always have everything in store. So this puppy we saw in Walmart and both Ella and I just looked at each other and we loved it. And Ella says, mommy, in the cutest voice ever, I don't think we can leave the store without this puppy. And she was right. It was a perfect addition this year. So cute and simple and it's just adorable. I love this puppy. They named him Snoopy. So my original plan was that I wanted to do some type of like Christmas balls on the bottom here but I had leftover garland and I couldn't find like any Christmas balls that I liked. I was thinking of like the really big ones that they have and I feel like it probably would have came out to be too much. So I had two boxes of leftover garland. I actually have one more box left over that I'm going to return. Um, so this was perfect. I'm just zip tying it and I love how this looks. So this Santa is an OG. It's something that the kids remember from year after year and it's fallen apart multiple times. So I zip tied it to make sure it was nice and secure to the porch. So now I'm just putting out some pillows and a blanket that I had from previous years onto our little porch swing. We don't spend that much time out here anymore now that it's absolutely freezing, but um, I do wait for the kids to get off the bus and stuff like that right over here. And we also grabbed quite a few boxes of these to do the bushes out front as well and they were really easy. They were easy to untie, they weren't tangled, and they worked out perfectly. And then these little snowflakes I grabbed from Amazon, they're great and the kids love putting them on and off of the windows inside. Um, so they look great out here. I feel like it was a great little addition. I'm so happy with how everything came out. It's literally my dream porch. I've been dreaming about having a huge porch ever since I saw the notebook. I love being outside. I love watering my flowers. I love all of that stuff. So I'm just so incredibly grateful that we have the porch of our dreams.
And then this I just printed out this morning. I downloaded it. It was a dollar from Etsy. Um, and I'm going to also laminate it and attach it to the snowman. I'm just using some tape before I go ahead and fill that with some goodies. If you were able to do this for our delivery men and women, I highly suggest it. Not only is it amazing and it feels good to like just give them a little thank you, a sign of appreciation for all that they're doing this year. I mean, they're delivering packages from morning all through the night and it's just a very small way to thank them and they're always so incredibly grateful. We love watching them on the ring camera. They always wave and say thank you. Not on the ring camera, it's Vivint, but you know what I mean, like the little camera on your doorbell. Um, it's just, it's the best. So I personally know from years prior that the candy and the soda always goes first. Um, I did order some little water bottles. That'll be here today too to give them water, but they do freeze a lot. So you have to be careful and bring them in overnight. But even with water out and soda, the soda was gone first. The kids also get really into it, which I love because they're always like, Mom, we need to refill this. We need to refill that. Oh, somebody took something. And they enjoy giving back as well. So I just feel like it's a great lesson to teach them and an act of kindness to show them. I hope that you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I really love how everything came out. I feel like it got like that classic look plus we have some of the nostalgia from years before and it's just perfect in my opinion and I can't wait to see it with some snow on it and all of that. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite part of this video, what your favorite decoration was and thank you so much again for watching. I will see you on Sunday. So